Ambassador, and I am at DLP's garage. I will be showing you how to install Kirk Evans drop pins on a 1972 Daytona Maso Pantera. I am going to show you the things you need. You're going to need some safety equipment, so you'll need glasses because there's going to be some sparks. Ear protection because there's going to be some loud noises. Gloves. Don't be a cheapo, get the thick ones. And a mask. I have to bring you here. Here's some more supplies you'll need. Um, you'll be using paint. This one is more resistant to gas, but you can use this one. And you'll need some Simply Green to clear up the workspace. And you'll need some rags to clean up that Simply Green. And you'll need some tape to mark your lines. These are the tools you will need. You'll need chalk, a crayon, heavy duty welding blanket to four to six feet, and a tape measure, a carbon teeth for this multi-tool, and you'll need two discs for this angle grinder. And you'll need a big light and a vacuum cleaner. First, you'll need to take the seat out, the carpet, and most of the interior. Then you grab up your cleaning supplies and clean up the schmutz. Grab your quarter inch tape and your tape measure and your chalk. You see the seams here? You want to put your tape right on it. You see the seam here? Grab your tape measure and go 24.5 inches. And make a mark with your chalk. After you're done putting on your heavy duty welding sheets, you're ready to cut. Okay, on the driver's side, you want to cut a quarter of an inch from where the shift tunnel spot welds are. The overlap. I use quarter inch tape and I just follow the edge of the shift on of sheet metal. And how you cut is important because you need to cut straight down or you can get into your vacuum tube which connects to the brake booster. As you can see, we already made the cut. With and we use the angle grinder and the multi-tool. You want to use the multi-tool as much as you can because the angle grinder has sparks. Grab your angle grinder and your multi-tool, start cutting. You can see we already done that. If you cut it right, it should have came out like this. Whoa. Whoa, look at this hole. I bet you guys want to see how we fill it. But you won't unless you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. See you next week. Bye. Carbon teeth for this thingy and the Corndell Dingle. What's my line again? Grab your quarter inch tape and grab your... If you cut it right, it should have come out like this. I can't do it. <laughs>